Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CVP call server. I'm going to install CVP call server on site A and site B. So I have two server prepared right here. This is CVP A and this is CVP B. Now CVP A does not require uh, for, for the server to be a member of a domain, but it is also not an issue if you do, if you do make it a member of a domain. So I'm going to start with CVPA. You go to the folder CVP, select Windows installer, and you click on setup. Now CVP installation is pretty straightforward. Now when we are going to have three servers for CVP, uh, actually four servers. CVPA and CVPB will be the call server, and then we have uh, Operation Manager, uh, Operation Console, a dedicated server, and then we have a reporting server as well. So I will go and turn on this on both server at the same time, so that we don't waste time. Okay, so on CVPA, I will go ahead and accept the agreement and I will select CVP server. So this will give me call server, VXML server, a media server, all the, all the necessary component. So you can see I can only select one option at a time. Now there is a way to run all of them at the same server by running a switch called lab only. You can take a look at our CVP lab guide. Now we're going to use uh, ULaw. This is the folder where my web everything should be configured. So this is a certificate information. And that's go about it. Okay, so the both server are in progress of installation. Once it's complete, it will ask us to enter uh, an admin username and password. So we'll let it run. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer. So the service has been a uh, server has been restarted. So I'll go verify the services are installed. So right there you can see CVP servers are running right now. Now because this is not a uh, operation manage, manager server so there, will, there may not be any um, kind of a link or an application to open from here. So the next lab will show you how to install the operation manager on this. So this is a site B and we have the CVP installed successfully. Alright so that's pretty much it for the CVP lab.